Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. I'm going to read the scripture. I want you to follow with me. Okay, Ephesians 5 14. Therefore, he says, Awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Listen, we, we want the light of God. The only one that can give us light is Christ. But I want you to see here this scripture. Again, can somebody, have you taken the scripture? I want you to read it loudly for me. Therefore, he says, wake, you sleep. Awake, you who sleep. Arise from the dead. Arise from the dead. And Christ will give you light. Hallelujah. And Christ will give you light. See, before Christ can give you light, you got to do something. We 
don't understand who we are. And so we are living a defeated life. So we are struggling in our finances. So we are not able to get the harvest of what we planted. This morning I'm going to, I told you, I'm going to take you deep. I'm going to take you deep. If the Holy Spirit will open your eyes, you can see something, then you will never, never be afraid of what the devil can do to you. man tap your neighbor and say what is woman what is man come on tell the person next to you whoever they are who are you who are you you ran away from God you ran into the place where God said don't go you disobeyed everything that he gave you but still he comes knocking for you he's coming looking for you who are you? It's not somebody, your ex-husband looking for you. No, who is looking for you? It's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come with me on this journey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who is man? Who is human? Who is woman? Who is this creation of yours that you should be mindful of? Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 says, By faith we understand the worlds were created. Tap your neighbor and say there are two worlds. One is the world of men. Another is the world of the spirit. Before God made the created the world of men, He created the world of the Spirit. That's what Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says. And God in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God created one earth. God created many heavens. Ah! There are two worlds. One is the world of the spirit. Before he ever created the earth, he created the world of the spirit. And he created beings called the Elohim, the God kind. We call them angels. We call them demons. But when God created, they were all good. I got to know this. I got to know this. I got to know this. For you to live in this earth like God wants you to live, you have to know this. Yeah. 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 Your neighbor and say, open my eyes, Lord. 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 He's still working on me. Make me what I ought to be. The sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. And he's still working on you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, when it's all said and done, 
you will walk with the authority that Jesus had. You will walk with the power that Jesus had. No devil can come and tell you, you belong to me. He's still working on me. And patient he must be. He's still working on me. Two worlds. The first one is the world of? Come on, say with me, the world of men. Another is the world of the angels or the world of the spirit. When God made the angels, when God made the Elohim, the God kind, he made them as a spirit. And because they were made as a spirit, they had authority to live in the world of the spirit. But when God made man, oh hallelujah, Something unique he did. You have to understand this. God made the spirit of man to dwell in the realm of the spirit. And then he made the body of man from earth. Oh, come on, clap and give God the glory. I want you to understand that you have a unique advantage. Your advantage is greater than the angels. If you live in two worlds. Hallelujah. Come on. I want two people. Where is Paul? Paul, come on, come on here. Paul, come on here. Hallelujah. All right. Come on, come on in. Come on, Junior, Junior. Come on, stand here. All right, are you there with me? Oh, everybody that say, yeah, are you, you're there, say yes, amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Okay, now you're going to follow with me. All right. God made the spirit of man. It is in Zechariah chapter 12, verse 1. God made the spirit of man. He took the elements from another world and made the spirit of man. This man, this spirit of man, was able to interact with God. And then God said, let us make man in our image. And so he came to this earth and he took out of the dust of the earth and he made the body of man. I want you to kneel down. All right. Body of man. The body of man came from earth the spirit of man came from another world you have you can live in two worlds you can live in the world of the men and you can live in the world of the angels this is how God created. but the problem is the spirit cannot live on earth and everything that has to do with flesh and blood cannot live in the kingdom of God so the body cannot live in the kingdom of God. The spirit cannot live on earth. So God said he made the body and he breathed the spirit into the body. And he became a living soul. This is how man in the garden of Eden looked like. He had a spirit. That interact with God. He had a body that obeyed the heart of God. Now, somebody read with me Psalm chapter 8. Man has three parts. This is the spirit. 
Say the spirit of man. Spirit of man. Loudly say the spirit of man. Spirit of man. And this is the body of man. And this is the soul of man. The soul was created by God to be an interface between the spirit and the body. That is why no devil, no angel, no spirit can operate on earth without your cooperation. Did you get that what I said? No devil can come and work in your house without cooperation from you. Man was three parts, but he lived in two worlds. Hallelujah. With the spirit, he was supposed to talk to God. Every morning in Genesis we read, God will come and say, Adam, ah, I've come to have coffee with you, boy. Where are you? And Adam had no problem. Oh, are you God? Are you really God? No, he could hear God. You know why? His spirit was created in the realm of God. But for him to have legal access on this earth he needed a body so God made man and woman a body from the earth if you would scientifically break down your body you know it has 70% water just like the earth has 70% water God made his body so it will give this spirit being a legal access to walk on earth. Amen. That's why when the body becomes sick and dies, the spirit can no longer walk on earth. Are you there with me? Tap your neighbor and say, wake up! Wake up! Now, listen to me carefully. Come on, read my brother. What is man that you are mindful of him, okay. and the son of man that you visit him? Listen, God visits man. In the darkness of the night when you're sleeping, maybe even you don't know, but he shows you dreams. He comes with dreams. He visits man. Now go on. Uh. For you have made him uh -huh. a little lower than the angels. There you go. And you have crowned him uh -huh. with glory and honor. You have crowned him with glory and honor. Eh? You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. Hallelujah. You made him to have dominion over the works of his hands. Now, God wanted man to have this wonderful, unique purpose to walk with him and take dominion on earth. Boy, amen. Walk with him and he will talk to the animals and tell, hey, this is who you are. And they will be. Walk with him and he will talk to the earth and say, this is how you will produce and the earth will obey. That is how God created I want you to see a few things. Number one. Number one. He created him little lower than the angels. Angels were higher in the ranking in the spirit world. He created man a little lower than the angels. But he made him a king on the earth. I want you to see. If you want to walk as a king on the earth, you have to learn to be a servant. Now, something happened. Satan did not like this. Lucifer did not like this. So Satan came as a serpent and what he did, it, he led man to disobey God. Until then, everything obeyed man. He called the lion and the lion came. It didn't kill him. 
and the earth was fruitful there was no tragedy there was no earthquake there was no hurricanes whatever adam planted he had an abundant harvest tap your neighbor and say that's who god made me hallelujah but when adam disobeyed when adam sinned what happened this spirit lost its standing in the spirit realm now i want you to sit down yeah it lost standing in spirit realm the bible says his spirit went to sleep that's why paul says awake oh you are sleeping now i want you to understand this when his spirit went to sleep man became limited he could not move his spirit was limited his life was limited he had to drag his body wherever he goes this is how we live and this is called a carnal man a man that is living based on his five senses he uses his intellect he uses his understanding he tries himself to do the best in life but let me tell you whatever he does fails it was limited how many times you and i are living the same kind of life? we come to church but our spirit is still asleep when your spirit is sleeping bible calls you are dead everything that you do will give birth to death no wonder your family is falling apart no wonder you are trying to work hard two jobs three jobs and still you don't have any money in your bank account that was not god's plan at all please please make some way to believe me when god made man he made man with a spirit come on stand up and this spirit was alive the spirit world was superior to the world of men but when he disobeyed come on he slept he did not give any help to man man needed wisdom but he could not find wisdom because the spirit did not help him all he could do was use the body and try to come up with a plan this is why the bible says those who follow after the flesh will always have reap death those who follow after the spirit very carefully very carefully this is how we are born this is not your fault but this is how you're born your spirit is inactive and you start learning how to make your soul strong you go to medical school you make your soul strong but whatever you do with your soul the bible says will bring what we work with our mind we have a problem and then we'll try to solve our problem with our mind but listen i am limited i need help i want to ask i know that i need help and we don't know we come to church and even in church they don't even talk about it they give you some psychological principles they say come on come on don't give up keep working on it you will get better you will get better in your soul in your mind it is no good you need the life of god amen you need the wisdom of god you need god's word you need the strength of god but you cannot get it because your spirit is asleep you know that's the reason why people go and try to connect with other demons they go to witchcraft 
I know people that they want to find an answer. So where they go? They go to soothsayer. They go to a, to a, what is that, palm reader. They go to tarot cards. You know, they are begging for help. I need more wisdom. Well, let me tell you, everything that the enemy can do will produce death. Oh, come on, clap. Oh, Can you read Ephesians chapter 2? I'm going to try to line, land this plane a little bit. No skip city, boy. Keep sitting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 1. And you, he made alive. Hallelujah. Come on, tap your neighbor and say, and you. And you. He made alive. Jesus showed up. Until then, until then, until then, we were struggling. Until then, we were trying to do it in our strength. But every time we did, we failed. But then he came. Hallelujah. Oh, tap the neighbor and say, He came. Oh, come on, son. He came. His name is Jesus. He came. And what did he do? He made me alive. Hallelujah. He made me alive. I once was dead. and give God the glory one more time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You, he made alive. Yeah. Now, which has the life of God now? Yeah. Which has the life of God? Yeah. Soul or body? Yeah. Yeah. The spirit man has the life of God. Your body is still on the ground, but the spirit man now has life. But then I want you to keep reading, my brother. I think I want you to read verse 3. Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh. That's right, uh-huh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh uh -huh. and of the mind, uh -huh. and were by nature children of wrath, uh -huh. just as the others. Just as the others. Go ahead and read the next one. But God. But God. Uh. Who is rich in mercy, uh -huh. because of His great love. Because with, of His great love. With which He loved us. With which He loved us. Even when we were dead in trespasses, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. Oh, made us alive how? Say with me, together with Christ. Again, say with me, together with Christ. Say together with Christ. Now, how did the life come? Because Jesus. Together. You are together with Christ. Hallelujah. He made you alive together with Christ. 
and raised us up together. And raised us up together. We were dead, and now we are rising. Hallelujah. And then go on to sleep. And made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Jesus! He rose us up, he raised us up, and he made us sit with him. Now you and I are believer. We are no longer little lower than the angels. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. There was a mystery that was happening when Jesus was raising up from the dead. When he rose up, he was carrying you with him. cried out in, in, in Acts chapter 19. They said he, the, the, there were two people, there were a few people coming, trying to cast the demon out, saying, in the name of Jesus, which Paul preaches, we cast out demons. And the spirit answered that and said, I know Jesus. I know Paul. I want you to read another scripture. And the scripture is here in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20 and 21. Which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Amen. He worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. And seated him and at the right hand. And seated him at the right hand. In the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Where did God seat Jesus? in the right hand, in the heavenly places. I want you to know, in the spirit realm, Jesus was raised up to the right hand of God. Go on, read. Far above all principality and power. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Far above. Say with me, far above. Far above. Say with me, far above. Far above. Far above depression. Far about anxiety. Far about failure. Far about every financial difficulty. Far about principality. Then. And power. And power. And might. And might. And dominion. And dominion. My friends. In the realm of the spirit, everything God created is now under your feet. Tap your neighbor and say, 
He is far above. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what challenges in your family you're facing. But I want you to know he is far above. I don't know what sickness you're facing. Every sickness that is attacking your body, let me tell you, it is death coming in little bits. But he raised him far above. Hallelujah. 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 And when he raised him above, the Bible goes on to say, he raised you together with him. Oh, come on. I want a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. 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 He raised you with him far above the principalities. Far above powers and dominion. Now, one thing I want you to know. In the realm of of the spirit there is order you know there were a, there were almost 3000 demons in one man in the bible his name was legion yeah they were fighting for one body because they cannot legally live on this earth without a body but when jesus came oh far above hallelujah you know when jesus came you need to understand one demon answered Jesus for everybody. There is order in the spirit world. There is a leader. I want to tell you something here. Please understand this. When you know who you are, <laughs> when you know who you are, every demon will recognize, I know Jesus. I know Paul. Hallelujah. I know Ramiro. I know Brian. I know, and they will have to obey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When God created man, First thing I want you to know, he created to live in two worlds. The devil doesn't want you to know that. One is the world of the spirit. Another is the world of men. You are called to reach heaven and change earth. You know, that is why Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. He said, let your will be done as it is in heaven. When Jesus rose up, something happened. You raised with him together. Now let me tell you, if this revelation comes into your heart this morning, no devil can hold on to you. No demon can hold on to you. No sickness can hold on to you. No anxiety can hold on to you. Tap your neighbor and say, wake up. 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 Don't let your spirit still sleep. Wake up. He 